Mickey King reigns supreme! You are crazy! And handsome, if you're gonna be critical, be fair. Monkey King! Monkey King! Man, that's really catchy. Hey, how you doing? Good looking. Welcome back to the Z Mexican show. And after the uh, the month of October's uh, Halloween list, I've now uh, watching regular movies now. And also, I want to talk to you about the 2023 Monkey King animated movie. The Monkey King is a 2023 animated fantasy comedy filmed by Anthony Stachy from screenplay written by Rita Hsiao and the writing team of Steve Benshi and Ron J. Friedman. It is a prequel of a classic Ming Dynasty novel, Journey to the West. The film stars Jimmy O. Yang voicing over the role of the titular trickster god with Bowen Yang, Joe Koi, and B.D. Wong. Jolie, Huang Rappaport, and Stephanie Xu in supporting roles. The Monkey King was selected to closing the film at the 22nd New York Asian Film Festival, where it had its world premiere on July 30, 2023, and it was distributed and released on August 18, 2023 by Netflix. The film received mixed views from the critics, and for good reasons, and here's why. I'm gonna start from the good, uh, the good aspects of this movie. I like the animation. I like the art direction. Character designs are very good and very, you know, DreamWorks level. Another thing that I actually also like is the voice work as well. Uh, Jimmy O Yang as uh, as the titular title, Monkey King, and also uh, Bowen Yang as Dragon King. I, he's actually one of my favorite characters for this movie. He just he he is actually oozes with a lot of charisma and. Flamboyancy. I really enjoy the performances and also the rest of the cast as well. Like I said, the f- good thing about this movie is its animation and its character design. You really enjoy the animation and the visual cues from their faces and their body language. It really does look very beautiful. And I can, you know, give that movie its praise. However, there are problems with this movie. One of which is, as I tried to watch the movie, so- when you hear something in-, in it, there's this weird, I don't understand, there's this weird sound that I cannot describe in that movie. It- it- it somehow, this movie has terrible sound mixing. I don't know why. It- there's certain scenes that they, in a cacophony of sounds, it's such a weird thing that certain scenes that it sh- should not be that loud, it's so darn loud, and then and there's dialogue within it and also I think it's the uh, the noise from stick the weapon of monkey king that makes this all hums and who's about it's so weird it, it, that's the reason why I go why is this sound so weird to me it sometimes clashes with the sound the sound mixing and that to me is more kind of bothered me from this movie another thing that bothered me but I'm pretty sure people are gonna hate me for saying this it's their musical choices uh, once they once they shifted towards that uh, uh, the 2d sequence from the monkey King uh, monkey King I kind of liked it and they presented as a very uh, a montage of a lot of monsters and fighting but also presents itself in, in a very uh, heavy metal sound as well I, which means I, it's it's gonna be that type of film we'll have that uh, I could describe it as that Jack Black ridiculousness about metal and that to me I go okay if you're gonna give me this sound I expect you know, a little bit of consistency but also a little bit of some good ins- uh, Chinese instrumentations but uh, another aspects of that I kind of dislike is that once you're near at the third halfway of the movie it feels like uh, they put in a musical that, that doesn't jive very well for me because it's very confusing it's, they have this weird schizophrenic uh, musical choice and, I, and it's unfortunate and I, I really want to like this but this it doesn't jive really with me so for me to go that's a knock and also man uh even though I'm just a newbie on, you know, the the lore of the Monkey King, I find the, char- the main character very not super likable. It, it, I understand the lore of the Monkey King. I actually research and watch a few videos about uh, Journey to the West as well as Mo- of Sun Wukong himself. He's a little bit of a, a dickish deity, but it's so hard to root a character that it is so dickish. 
and it, 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 there's this absolute fine line to portray the character in a way that he has to be dickish but he has to be charming that you have to like him but this movie kind of somewhat failed off the wall and and also it, it kind of makes me want to you know not want to continue on because it, it, there's no a partial balance between make him dickish and charming this movie has failed that uh, failed on that in my opinion and that to me is a, a very a very bad mark on my experience on watching the movie but i got to the end i like you know the fight scenes but also the uh, the, the sequence and also the the ending as well and it kind of summarizes of my feelings of this movie is that this movie deserves uh i'm gonna say it but it, it deserves a low matinee i wish it was done better i wish they have a you know fix you know the sound mixing uh, have a clear uh music choice like if you want to go heavy metal but also uh, mixing with a little bit of uh of chinese sounds i would be down with it but you know adding a musical number for the dragon king and go eh, it wasn't jiving with me i don't know why i tend to like musicals but this is not one of them for me like i said it's it's a low matinee watch and and i hope if besides monkey king is a prequel and i hope you know and if there's a possibility of a sequel it will be improved upon like give us you know make us root for sun wukong more this version of sun wukong more but fortunately this is my uh, take of the movie and that's a wrap for today's video i want to hear your thoughts on netflix's monkey king movie did you enjoy the movie if so please share your experiences with this film by leaving a comment below and stay tuned for the next video